Hey, thank you for watching this first video of the End to One for Game YouTube channel. Today I'm going to go through this deck here. We're doing a bit of testing for Expanded. Got some Expanded events coming up. What we're looking at here is Green's Blacephalon. So there's our main attacker right there. Um, it does Bursting Burn. You can soften them up a little bit. Hit them with uh, Mind Blown. Got... Um, Got the beast rings to get the energy when you've got your first Blacephalon knocked out. I mean, you're you're gonna have your opponent's always gonna have a three price turn, four price turn, um, unless something really weird happens. So you're always gonna get a beast ring turn. Um, you've got reset stamp and um, and red card for disruption. And here is big card in the deck right here: Green's Exploration. This gets you any two trainer cards. And if you don't have abilities in play, which Blacephalon does not have abilities, you get to play it. So you get to get a lot of the key cards in this deck. We've got Professor's Letter to get energy right away. We've got Welder to get um, energy onto Blacephalon right away. And then, you know, two energy at a time and then do your normal attachment for the turn. Um, we've got Silent Lab. There's just so much stuff that Silent Lab shuts down. We've got um, uh, Execute. Uh, you've got Mew Mew, you've got Tapu Lele GX, you've got Shaman EX, um, Karen, just because I've been having some trouble with Night March, and then when your GX gets knocked out, you just time it right, make sure you get your greens out of the way, and uh, just get any two cards you want. Um, I've got a Surges in there for one-time use, um, good, you know, right after you get a knockout. Um, and just a VS Seeker, just in case there's something I want to play right away. Um, this is kind of my substitute for Tapu Lele GX. Gets you a supporter right away. Um, you usually get uh, a Greens or a Welder, which are good pretty much every turn. And you've got N for Draw and Disruption. So I think we're going to um, go into our first match. So just sent a challenge to my buddy Jake. He's been playing for a while. Um, he's known for playing Picaram and known for playing Glycephalon. He's a real good guy. Tails. Ooh, and this is going to happen a lot. So we've got nothing in our opening hand. And we got nothing in our opening hand again. Okay, looks like he's playing Dark Box. And this is great. This is great. What what I want to go against with this deck is, um, is EXs and GXs. And he's probably got tag teams in his deck too. Um, I don't want to go against single prizers. I do want to go against decks where I can do a huge mind blown and take a whole bunch of prizes all at once. So we're preparing for, um, there's a, a League Cup um, in my area that's going to be expanded, which is nice because they're usually standard. Um, and then there's the Richmond Regionals. I like, I like expanded. Um, sometimes there's trouble keeping track of eight years worth of cards. You know, I just deal with it. So, ooh, this is this is not good news. So my opponent has a uh, a fighting fury belt, which is going to bring him up to 290. So I'm going to need six energy on a Blacephalon GX Mind Blown in order to take this guy out. And unfortunately, and this deck likes to go first. 
I mean, what 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 deck, uh, you know, <laughs> cannot say that. Uh, there's a few. But this deck likes to go first because I get to play my Silent Lab. I get to uh, prevent them from doing stuff like, you know, going in with their Shaman EX turn one or their um, Tapu Lele GX. All right, so we're just going to set up a bench here. And I don't see much benefit from N right now, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to lay down a Blacephalon GX here. And Welder. And I'll stick it here. I'm going to confuse him. Ah, this is good. So we'll Nest Ball. So I get the Meowth. And if he happens to knock out my Blacephalon next turn, I'll just... Um, I'll just use Persian if, if I get it. Yeah, and you know what? I'm going to end him next turn anyway, so why don't I just reset stamp? And let's just uh, get this confusion here to stick, hopefully. And there we go. So now he's down to 270 HP, which doesn't change the situation for Mind Blown because I still need six energy cards. As Stealthy Hood, you're going to see that in expanded, um, you know, people afraid of um, of vile plume. This is the one that um, that prevents uh, basic Pokemon from attacking. Um, oh, and he's confused. So, yes, the um, bursting burn it, it provides two benefits. Now, he's got free retreat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 Dark Cloak. He's got free retreat, so he can just retreat out of that. So that uh, that reset stamp, I, I did burn it, and, you know, I don't really need it for next turn, but it looks like uh, I gave him uh, a pretty decent hand. And that set of Widow... And my opponents can settle Widow all day. I do not care because I'm never going to have more than four Pokemon on my bench. It's it's technically, it could be a thing. I have six basic Pokemon in deck. So I guess technically I could have six Pokemon in play. But All right. And so now he's putting me in a bind here because I'm only getting one prize next turn if I knock out this Mew. I've got I've to do 90, which will not be a problem. So there we go. First B string. Let's just stick an energy here. And let's just hope this N... Uh, oh, hey, there we go. I've got the Persian. Fantastic. And let's shut off his basic abilities here with Silent Lab. Now he's got to pick which Pokemon to get rid of. and Yes, those Pokemon are dead weight right now. So we'll go ahead and get the Persian. And since he knocked out a GX, we get to use its ability. We get the other Blacephalon. We'll B-string on it. energy for turn yet so let me catwalk first Yeah, that looks good. So we're going to just see if this Lieutenant Surge's strategy is actually going to work. 
it's been mildly helpful with my deck. Let's get a knockout. So, you know, I did get a knockout. My Silent Lab is in play, shutting off his abilities. I'm still in a bad position here, because he's taken two prizes. Um, I've taken just one. He's in a position here to take, um, to take more prizes next turn, um, right? Because he, he could knock out this Blacephalon. I mean, he just needs... He just needs one more energy, right? Because this does um, 30 times the number of dark in play. And you've got base 30, so, you know, 5 times 30, that's 150. And no, he doesn't get the knockout. That's incredible. Well, that is going to cost him. And it looks like we've got a concession. And that was pretty short. So, um going to see if my opponent is uh, is going to play a game two. And it looks like he's about to offer me a game two. Blacephalon greens. <laughs> so my opponent's telling me he just whiffed energy off of the N and the trainer's mail. So that's why he conceded. So let's go. And my opponent's going to go first. Well, I'm having all kinds of fun now. You know, it's more fun when you win, right? So start with Blacephalon. Ooh, yeah, I'm, the, the basic situation is a little bit better than last game, but I've got no, uh, no draw supporters here, so that could be a problem. Okay. Okay, so we just got a greens off of this. So let's, um, yeah, let's play it. Mm. It looks like my opponent's not doing good right now. So let's uh, let's get a welder. I think that'll be good. And then, hmm. Let's just get another greens. So this is good. Um, opponent did not set up quite thoroughly as they uh, they tend to do. Um, let's do this, and bursting burn's not going to help me. So let's just start off with the burst GX. See if we can get an energy off of this. Our deck's basically one fourth energy, so sometimes we can actually do it. There's letter to energy. Our board state's still good, so let's just welder two energy to the active. Let's attach another energy here. And we'll mind blown for the knockout. And let's see if our opponent can respond. Um, my opponent and I did not discuss what deck he would be playing um, prior. This deck does seem to have good matchups against against Dark Box, just because of its heavy reliance on 
two prize attackers and and even tag teams. Um, he he did really good by uh, by putting that Mew FCO out there, just because you know I'm losing the prize if I'm knocking out Mews the whole game I'm losing the prize trade. There's just no way around it. I mean I've got Guzmas, but if if he can send out like you know three Mews. Even if I goose my stuff up, I'm still probably going to have a problem. There we go. Speak of the devil. And he's just going to give that out. His looks like his hand's not doing so good. So I'm just going to exacerbate the problem here by getting rid of his sky field again. And uh, da -da 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 -da. And let's just get a computer search. Why not? And we'll manually attach. Silent Lab. Okay. And my opponent gets nothing. So it looks like his hand was not so hot. So we're going to go ahead and uh, congratulate him and then move on to the next match. So you see uh, my list of decks that are available on PTCGO for Expanded. A lot of them uh, uh, are starting with Blacephalon. So that's just the ones that I favorited. Um, probably in total, I have like nine or ten Blacephalon decks. Um, the deck, you know, in standard or expanded, it's um, it's fairly easy to play. Uh, I played Blacephalon GX at Worlds, um, and I think I did rather well considering that um, that it was Worlds. I finished with. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to say off the top of my head, but I, I, I finished, you know, considering that I'm going up against the best of the best. Um, Blacephalon's been good. It's been good ever since it came out. Um, and, and Welder, man. Welder. If you're playing Blacephalon, I wouldn't say this as an absolute, but play for Welder. Standard or Expanded. You might be wondering um, what previous, uh, you know, incarnations did this expanded deck have? And the answer is yes. I did test the deck with Blacksmith and and um, and Battle Compressor and uh, Naganadel Lost Thunder. So there there were previous. Ooh, looks like he's playing Buzzgarb. Now this is this is the kind of deck that I wanted to go against because single prize attackers are going to be a problem. I have to take two prizes, right? I have to I have to take two knockouts for every one knockout they do. Ooh, ooh, Riolu, yes. This is great. I'm definitely having trouble with Riolu. And I got the turn one welder, which is great because I've got Professor's Letter. And let's see if I can get some disruption cards off of this. Uh, a Reds or a Silent Lab attached to the active. And I do not. Attach that. And... Done. Yeah, so I just think that the utility of, of Welder over Blacksmith, it's just, it's just too much. You've got, uh, you know, two cards in your hand. And then you okay. My opponent conceded. It looks like uh, man, it is it is just bad setups for my opponents all day. I swear, I swear this video is not uh, is not edited. I I just won three games here, and uh, three games, four games, four games because I I did play the first player twice. All right, we'll just uh, head on over to the next game. Yeah, so there are ways to get stuff into the discard pile. The battle compressors, computer search. You can get fire energy in the discard pile. And I'm not saying the deck doesn't work with, you know, with Baby Nagana Dell and with Blacksmith. But, man, I just love drawing three cards. And Welder is just so fun. I mean, there's so much stuff in this game that's fun. But Welder is so fun. Um, I played Mew Mew at... Uh, at several um, 
several League Cups recently, and I played it at the Atlantic City Regionals. And Weller is going to be played at the Richmond Regionals. But there's just too much stuff um, that's, that's good when you attach extra energy. Um, you, you might even see Seismitoad decks playing Welder. I mean, think about it. It's a Seismitoad, and you get to, um, you know, it's a DCE without actually playing DCE, right? They can't, um, they can't faba away your double colorless energy. So I'm going up against a Grass deck, um, and this could be a problem if he's got uh, Burning Shadows uh, um, File Plume. Um, let's see, we don't want him to knock me out. So let's just do that. Um, yeah. We'll just get a knockout here. So, the Bulbasaur, I assume, is to evolve into Shining Legends Venusaur which will double their energy. You know, energy acceleration is just, it's just been a mainstay in this game for really, I guess, forever. Um, decks with adequate energy acceleration win games. And so we were just talking about double colorless energy and how you can kind of do your own double colorless energy with Welder. Well, this uh, Shining Legends Venusaur, which turns every basic grass energy into two Grass energy, that's just another form of energy acceleration. Okay, so yes, we do have this uh, vial plume, so that's going to be a problem, and we're going to attack it with Persian GX. That's going to be our strategy. We'll just attach to the active. Let's just get another Meowth, why not? And we'll, let's make sure it has uh, Fire Weakness, yeah. So we'll just Mind Blown for the knockout. So I think our strategy is just going to be to attack it with, um, with Persian GX. We've got a get two fire energy, welder it on. Hey, there we go. There's our two fire energy. And there's our welder, even though we could have just gotten welder back with VS Seeker. And so he's just going to stall the whole game, which is what the deck does. Um, let's just thin out our deck here. Yep, that's good. So, yep, we're just going to get our Persian ready for next turn. Okay, here we go. will evolve. And yeah, we'll leave it at that. Let's do that. There we go. 
That's not going to help. Okay, and they can see. They see exactly what's about to happen. And looks like uh, their setup was not good. Hey, I wonder if their deck list is visible. No. But it uh, <laughs> looks like their MVP was Bulbasaur. Um, this Salazzle here, this is one of the attackers that I experimented with. Um, also, uh, this one right here from Dragon's Majesty. But I settled on Persian just because I think that was a better attacker. Or it was it was not a better attacker, but it was um, it was good at getting um, you know getting stuff. And and this caps out at 110. There's a lot of Pokemon that just don't get knocked out with 110 damage, whereas Persian can do 150 if you have to. We've got another match coming up here. I'll respond to the request. And I will send him a challenge. Here we go. Yes, I would like to go first. So what uh, what decks were we talking about in the um, current format, or the expanded format? Um, Buzzwool, Garbodor. Um, that's that's going to be a problem for this deck. Um, Uh, Mew Mew, and you can do the Seismitoad uh, version with Honchcrow, Unfair GX for Disruption. Unfortunately, Jesse and James is not legal and Expanded. They killed that thing uh, ASAP. And Kamala, okay. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and get the uh, Welder, yeah. Welder combo here. I'm going to get knocked out next turn. 12 energy in deck. So let's lay that down. And we'll potentially disrupt our opponent by bringing him two four cards. Attach an energy and done. Uh, Mew Mew, Honchcrow, Unfair GX. We've got Mew Mew with Deoxion, Archie's Blastoise. Um, are there any decks with attacking Blastoise? Not that I can think of. Um, Sable Garb, that's going to be a problem. That's real annoying to go against. Okay, so my opponent's getting the Hypno ready. And I'm just going to get set up here. And it seems to be a, a, a one prize attacker kind of deck. We're just going to hold on to that energy so we can weld our next turn. And yeah, let's. What's it got? 90 HP? Hmm. Yeah, we'll just mind blown twice. There we go. And let's see if I get any basics off this. I'd really like a, a Meowth right now. <laughs> just another welder. Hey, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes sometimes you get more welder than you need. And, uh-oh, he's going to put me to sleep. Um, I played this Pokemon a lot back in 2017. I had a stall deck in Standard. I had a stall deck that was like um, Hypno to put him to sleep. Um, yeah, okay, I'm just going to knock him out with welder. <laughs> He's telling me he liked my red card, yeah. Well, I'm glad it's clutch. Um, actually, 
Do I have a switch? Okay, yeah, I have a switch here. So actually, I just want to get Blacephalon. Yeah, I did a stall deck. It was Hypno, and I had like Fright Knight of Eltal just because it had a lot of HP. And Floatstone was big at the time, so I'd be able to bring something up to the active position with like Guzma and then um, prevent them from retreating um, with Floatstone. And ooh, I'm asleep now. So, let's see. Mm hmm. -hmm. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep accumulating cards here with Welder. And I do have Guzma. It's not going to help right now. Um, and we'll just hit done. So I need two more energy to knock out this Snorlax. And ooh, first stadium. I've burned up three Welder. That's not good. Um, hmm. Let's see if I can get another welder. No, I got a surges. Yeah, I'm always drawn into these surges when I don't need it. N does not help. Hmm. All right, let's just energy uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, get it there. And ooh, I'm out of welder. All right, well that'll be my welder right there. So I was holding back on putting down that silent lab, but I just realized that if I play silent lab next turn, I don't get any benefit off of it next turn. Okay, so here we go. I'm about to knock out Snorlax. If, if I had the, uh, you know, if I had the switch. You know, I could still get the switch. Um, I've thought about a skateboard in the deck over switch for like, um, for like shock lock decks, but, oh, hey, there we go. But I think I'm just gonna take the L one, two, Three, four, and it's got 190 HP. Yep, we'll take a knockout here. Um, I think the thing about Shock Lock is that if you put too much in your deck to resist Shock Lock, then, well, you just throw off the consistency of your deck. I mean, this is the age old problem in Pokemon TCG, is, you know, you can change X number of cards in your deck for, you know, Y percent difference, and you've got to just fill in those variables with your own answers. And I'm just going to get the knockout right here. doesn't matter what else I draw. Mind blown. Get rid of two. It's got 90, yeah. And good game. What I'd like to see... I don't have it in my deck, but I have room for it with the greens. I, I, I'm kind of fantasizing about people playing custom catchers in Expanded just because it works, even if um, it works as like a Guzma Lysander, even if, um, if you, they've got Stoutland as their active. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about if, if you have custom catchers then you can play them, but even then, 
you know, I thought about it. Even then, what are you going to custom catcher up? And if you play custom catcher, your Pokemon is still um, paralyzed. You know, you can... Th there is some disruption, you know. you. I did play against a Shockalock with this deck. And you can try, try to slow them down with, like, Red Stamp and Red Card. Because those are things that force them to shuffle but are not supporters. But, you know, I tried a red card and they just got the right shoe back that they needed anyway, so. And, ooh, we've got Carp Lord. So it's going to take a big, beefy six energy to take this guy out. And if this is, uh, if this is for Mew Mew, then I'm in good, ooh, Caldeo. This is probably a, a stall kind of deck. And buff padding. Wait, does it have four? It has four retreat cost. Wow, okay. So a 350 Garp Lord. So I've got a, I've got a Lost Zone 7 energy, which is probably going to be impossible. Hmm. Let's just thin out the deck. This is a stall deck. My Persian is not going to help. Hmm. Bursting burn. Soften it up a little. And if he keeps getting tails two more times... Oh, okay, never mind. If you, if you can bring... 60 damage onto it with burn, then you've got uh, you've got just one less energy you have to do. And yes, so I've had this problem with water attackers here where they have rough seas. Not much I can do about it. So let's just uh, get the welder letter combo. I did try this deck with um, with. not Heat Factory, but uh, Giant Hearth. And unfortunately, like, I, I, just, I decided against it. I mean, it's not objectively right or wrong, you know. I just decided against it just because the benefit from having that Silent Lab in play, right, Silent Lab just shuts off so many things. So I play Professor's Letter, and that lets me keep my stadiums. So I'm hoping I can knock out this Carp Lord. Mm, man, they are making it hard for me. I'm hoping to knock out this Carp Lord and then just get an easy KO. Oh yeah, I forgot to play the Silent Lab. Well, actually, I was saving the Silent Lab for Keldeo. Ooh, that's bad. I'm hoping he's got a garbage hand right now. Because if he does 110, I mean, that's just... That's bad news. So here we go. There we go. All right, I've got the knockout. I need six energy, so I'm just gonna do all six. Um, yeah, let's just play this down. Why not? 
probably just give my opponent an awesome hand, but I don't care. Actually, I do. I do. Um, energy here. And mind blown. One, two, three, four, five, six. And knock it out. You know, from a from a certain perspective, this this Wailord stall is actually kind of better than the other Wailord stall because Wailord EX from like boundaries crossed or what whatever set all those sets from like 2012, 2013, they, they kind of kind of merge into one one set for me. But um, it's from one of those sets. So I'm gonna try to get a cheap knockout on the Keldeo here. And actually I've got Silent Labs, so it's guaranteed. He was not able to replace the stadium. So let's just stack those beast rings. And I just need four energy. Do I have the uh, beast energy? Okay. I mean, hmm. Why don't I just dump these two and just get a beast energy? Two, three. Silent Labs in play. Got it. Um, I think this uh, stall deck, I think it's a good concept for expanded. Um, you've got Caldeo. I don't think a lot of people are going to be playing Silent Lab at Richmond. Um, power Plant, well, no, you know, I can't say that because there's going to be people afraid of Mew Mew. Mew Mew is going to be, is, is a more known threat. Let's see, what did he get rid of? It's a more known threat than, um, than other things, than, than this Caldeo. So I'm just going to take an easy knockout here. And well played. My opponent's letting me play through it. Uh, we've got a bunch of energy, no no welder start, but this could turn into a welder, or maybe we'll get Silent Lab with this. Oh gosh, I'm not sure what we're going up against. I'm thinking it's a Mew Mew deck. Mew Mew with Deoxion, which is great. I love it. I love going up against this deck. Oh no, it's Malamar. It's Malamar in Expanded, which he could still probably be playing uh, Deoxion. Oh, there we go. So, this is interesting. So, it's not Archie's Blastoise with Mew Mew, which, hey, I understand how difficult it is to, uh, excuse me, <coughs> how difficult it is to get 
Mew Mew in play, or did I just say Mew? How difficult it is to get Blastoise in play, you know, having to manage your hand, get it down to zero so you can play Archies. So I can understand the appeal of wanting to power up your Mew Mew with, um, with Malamar. Right, so I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I'm just going to go for the easy KO here on Blasuf on uh, on NK. And hey, there we go, Silent Lab. So we're going to just mind blown two. And that will just be one less Inke he can use as a Malamar to power up his Mew Mew. Now, interesting, what is he going to send up if he knows he can't attack with Mew Mew this turn? Oh, to Dene, so he does not have a stadium, we can assume. And there we go. Gets the Malamar. I wonder where the mysterious treasures are. Don't see them. Ooh, ooh. So that, that does not get shut off by Silent Lab. That's going to be a problem. It would really suck if he did a Sky Scorching Light and knocked out my Meowth. Oh, wait, nope. 70 HP Meowth? Oh, I had some forethought. <laughs> I considered the factors. I mean, so the 70 HP Meowth is not for Sky Scorching Light. Obviously, it's for, like, fighting types like Buzzwall GX and stuff like that. You don't want to get taken out by 30 damage, weakness. But hey, 70 HP, that's great against Sky Scorching Light. And hey man, this Meowth is going to get me some cards because it's going to turn into a Persian. And uh, I mean, he's getting a knockout with this uh, with this Photon Geyser here, wh whether I want him to or not. Power up my Blacephalon to KO this to Denny, unfortunately. Man, I wish I had a fire. Let's just get the Cherish Ball, set ourselves up for Persian GX. Get that. Sure. And we'll burst and burn. And let's see if they've got a way. So they can Miraculous Duo next turn if they have a way to get rid of the Dedene GX, or to retreat the Dedene GX. We'll see what they do. So, computer search. Okay, so the answer is yes, they do. Miraculous Duo um, and knock out my Blacephalon. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to town with Beast Rings. I've got one, and I just need two more, which I will get with Catwalk. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So I'm not really sure. Hmm. Let's just see what I get with this. Another welder. Yeah, let's just welder. To be active. Hey, there we go. There's my extra energy. Now let's just get another Blacephalon. Why not? And 
with if I do 130, it's still not enough, so I've got to just discard them all. I said discard. I meant to say lost zone. you got to lost zone them all. Believe me, I've made the mistake of discarding uh, fire energy off of Mind Blown. It feels bad. So... I was expecting his computer search to get him out of uh, silent lab lock, but oh, there we go, there we go. And he now has a plethora of attacks available to him. Or I should say, he has Dragonite GX available to him. Oh, he could energy drive. <laughs> that would be funny. He, he could tingly return. But miraculous duo, yes, so. So, I've got the game in the bag. All I have to do is catwalk. Get the energy I need to knock out his Mew Mew. Um, yeah. And actually, I can just greens for them. Just attach another energy for the lulls. Actually, I could have just catwalked for another B string. Misplay. string. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And knock it out. This is interesting. I'd, I'd love to play against another Mew Mew Malamar. I mean, I'd, I'd like a match where they don't brick, but wow, that was pretty cool. So I'm going to just keep playing, see if I hit another Mew Mew deck. I, I like what people do with their usernames when, um, when I guess the names they ass I assume they want are taken. So you've got this Pika... A Chiyu. Oh, and you've got techniques like um, like substituting letters for numbers like an O becomes a zero, an E becomes a three. You've got you've got every every trick you can think of for a person's account somewhere, you know, picking their username. Any trick you've you can think of with people uh, trying to take names that have already been taken, spelling things differently. All those tricks have been tried on PTCGO. Let's see what we get here. Guzma. Not helpful. Um, hmm. I'm going to end and try to shut them down with... Um, let me, I want to try to get some more basics. There we go. Oh, oh, beast ring. Beast ring, beast ring. Perfect. So I wanted to shut them down with Silent Lab. But looks like that's not going to happen. So at least I can, if he's got a welder or some way to get another energy on his, uh, 
Heatrain, at least he can't attack me next turn, or at least he's got to flip a coin. This is very interesting. So when I played a uh, this deck in Expanded, um, one of the people watching said, "Whoa, did you bring, <laughs> did you bring a standard deck to an Expanded match?" And that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking right now. It's all this stuff right here, uh, Cherish Ball, Welder, Rash's Art, all this stuff is good and standard. So I'm hoping I get a Fire Energy here. Get some steam going. Oh, nice. Oh, and I, actually, I don't have to hope. I can just play. I can just play Giant Hearth. Thank you. Um, so I'm gonna knock out this Heatran. Obviously, he's gonna retaliate with Reshazard. And I'll just take care of that with uh, with these B strings. Ooh, should I attach, can I attach the fire? I'll hold on to it, because it might draw me into a Persian. Um, yeah, mind blown for the knockout. Of course, I could get something I need to get the Persian off of this. Yeah, there we go. Cherish Ball. All right, man. Things are looking good. So, if he knocks me out, well... It would be very unlikely if he did not get a knockout this turn. I'll just respond with uh, with another Blacephalon GX. Ooh, now if he end me, you know, if he if he does the same dirty tricks I'm utilizing right now, if he does like a, a red card or a reset stamp, that would be, uh, excuse me, that would be bad. So I've got a good hand right now. That power plant would be problematic because I need six energy to knock out Reshazard and I'd still maybe get it without the Persian GX just if I get you know a fire energy off for of this welder so let's just put that down oh and again it's still not an issue of maybe it's an issue of I've got it because of the giant hearth. And yeah, hey, I don't see what else we need to do other than just pick up some more B-strings. So let's just keep doing that and let's count our energy here. Six, yeah. Let's just stick them on our bench. Oh, and the expanded card my opponent's playing is Shaman. I see it now. And we'll just put them on our active. save the beast energy. Yeah, we'll stick it here. Yep. There we go. And if by some Coincidence, he does not knock out this Blacephalon GX. I'll just draw my last prize off Burst GX. I think I counted that right. I think I've got another fire in my deck. Nine. Nine energy in the lost zone and four basic fire energy in play. 
So this is interesting. So I've got a, a Mew Mew match where I have not shut them off with, uh, with Silent Lab. But man, the usefulness of this uh, giant hearth. I kind of like having it around over, uh, over Silent Lab. Yep, there we go. So I'll just get that welder it on and take my last prize. And victory. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of Mew Mew. Mew Mew to worry about. And Rush's art is a great inclusion in Mew Mew. I remember in, in Standard, there were a lot of people not playing it, playing Rush's art. I like it. The Double Blaze 6 Energy gets through Guardian with a, um, with a Fairy Charm. It gets through... Um, well, actually, you don't have to worry about Fairy Charm if you're attacking with a Fire. But if you're attacking with Mew Mew, with Rush's art attack, and they've got a Fairy Charm Psychic or a Fairy Charm ability, then yes, you do have to worry about a Guardian Fairy, fairy Charm. Um, Rush's Art's Double Blaze goes through anything that blocks GX attacks. You know, it just goes through all the effects. And another match. Let's go! <laughs> None of us got basics. Ooh, some testing against Trevenant. And my opponent's choosing a starting Pokemon. I don't have much of a choice here. So the good news is I've got Guzmas. So I think what I'm going to do is get my Guzmas ready when, uh, for when the, um, ooh, only got one Guzma. That's bad. get my Guzmas ready for when they um, are going to put a uh, Trevenant active. And I will um, just bring up something else when I need to use my B-strings. Hopefully he doesn't have all of his uh, Trevenant evolved by that point. All of his Phantop evolved in Trevenant.
So there's an advantage to running the uh, 60 HP uh, Meowth over the 70 HP. So here we go, yep. Just as I predicted. So we're gonna send this bad boy forward. And we're gonna burst you guys. B string does not work. I tried to get B string to work. <laughs> This ring doesn't work. He only knocked out one uh, single prizer. Man, I messed up. I really hope he doesn't get a, uh, get a Trevenant out of this. I've got no more Guzman left, unless I have Via Seeker 1. But that would require me to not be item locked. Slow him down a little bit here. I guess technically I'm winning the prize trade now because I'm going to knock him out. One, two. So the thing about Trevenant is that I can play Giratina, promo Giratina, to shut off its abilities potentially, but then I don't get greens. There's really no other good way to stop um, Trevenant's ability, none that I can think of. I mean, I could run a third Guzma, I'm running two. Um, and I could also time my Guzmas properly. That was poor management of the game state on my part. And it looks like he's about to... He's not about to Silent Fear because he doesn't have the Pokemon in play for it. Ah, well, that's a safe assumption. That uh, I have three cards that don't have the energy. Fortunately, I do. <laughs> nice. So just need a uh, one, two, three. One, two. Three. For 180 damage. 
Hopefully I get a fire energy off of this. Another useless B string. Ooh, that hurts. I might just have to bursting burn this turn. It's a Trevenant break. Oh, man. Misplay. So I'm, a, uh, I'm, I'm running low on options here, but if I can just draw an energy, I can knock out this, uh, this Trevenant, and I can knock it out with Bursting Burn, which will not trigger Rescue Scarf. So let's hope this next card here is an energy. Oh, ask and ye shall receive. Bursting burn. I mean, so now I'm stuck, though. Now what do I do? Do I just bursting burn all day? And I never got to use my uh, silent lab to shut off his uh, his Tapu Lele GX. So there, there was that clear misplay early game where I jumped the gun and I went for the beast ring as soon as there was a knockout, which is just a matter of habit, and it's habit that I need to break. You know, I want to play the beast rings, you know, because they're good. I want to play them when they're ready to be played, but. He knocked out a Meowth, not not a Blacephalon. So, and I, I should have been aware of that when I was uh, when I did the Guzma. I, I burned up my only Guzma. Yep, so I just gotta confuse him. I I, uh, I wish I got end or stamped right now, so then I might just draw into some energy. Oh, hey, there we go. I've got nine basic energy in the uh, lost zone, one in play, so I've got five basic energy left. If that did not draw any. Try to slow down my opponent here. Okay. 
just going to keep bursting burn. The good news is his free retreat trevenant is the one on the bench. It's actually not free retreat. It's got one retreat because mystery energy reduces it by two. But yeah. And he can't play Guzma. He can't Guzma out of confusion because I don't have any other Pokemon in play. Dude, if I win this one, it'll be a miracle. And this is just impossible. Um, yeah, let's just Bursting Burn again. And if he gets Confusion Flip on this, it's just game over. Game over for that one Pokemon. Oh, and he's burned too, right? He failed the Burn Flip, so it's Knockout no matter what he does. It's possible he's got a Switch or something like that. Olympia, uh, Tate and Liza. You're, you remember Olympia? Man, how many ends is that? <laughs> I hope I get some energy. Oof. Rip. He's played N four times. <laughs> well, you know, this is exactly the kind of deck this is for. This and Ace Trainer. Because you're going to be high, behind on prizes. Silent fear, silent fear, silent fear. you got to send up the Trevenant. you got to. Not much I can do here. And I do have energy left. Just drawing into it is the problem. Play that. That is literally impossible for me to play for the remainder of the game. It's like getting a counter energy. You have just one prize. Except you can you can technically you can play the counter energy, you just don't get any extra effect out of it. I'm thinking this might just be the end of the line for me. Man, what's the deal with all these tails flips? Hot dog. Yes. That is not an energy. We're still in a good position. He still needs to attack me twice. He needs to attack me twice with Tree Slam to get a knockout. So even if he gets one heads, still we're in a good position. This is unreal. And if I get an energy off of this, it's game. Okay, still alive. This is insane. <laughs> I and, and if I win, I did not deserve to win.
Here's another look at the deck, and the deck list will be in the comments. A deck I have um, problem with is Shocklock. Uh, Trevenant is, is a problem. Sable Garb is also a problem. Um, single prizers. I, we prefer with this deck to go against the big GXs and even the tag teams. Hitmonchan Wabafet, it's, it's winnable, but also a problem. Night March is winnable, but a problem. Um, Eggsplat Executor is highly problematic, especially with that 160 HP. That is a bad number. Zoro Garb is problematic just because you do need to play items in order to play the deck. Um, Buzzwall GX decks, I would say, are really problematic because um, they're going to get the they're they're going to draw their two prizes before you do most likely, especially with like Max Elixir and stuff like that. And the, if if they draw prizes first, they probably win. The Pikazek match is good. Uh, they've got tag teams. You just knock them out, get three prizes. The Rayquaza Ho O matchup is is good because. You um, can get uh, four energy in play, knock out a Rayquaza really easily. Um, check out our social media and any other links we have in the uh, description. Um, check out uh, any uh, website or anything we have there. I'm actually not sure what we're putting in the description. Leave a comment. We'll respond to it. We, we always like getting feedback. Ariados. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>